so many of you till date have asked me about my sketchbooks so today i want to spill off all the secrets about how i have been maintaining so many sketchbooks and which is the particular brand i prefer why i prefer only hand bound sketchbooks as well as the kind of paper that i prefer into it so here you can see a stack of sketchbooks from vibrant parcels i have been using this brand which is my own for a long time now it's more than a year we have been uh, selling these sketchbooks but i have been making sketchbooks for myself for more than 3 to 4 years and hence once i was pretty good with it i thought to introduce it and make it available for each one of you This was the first sketchbook from Vibrant Parcels um, that we made, which was hand-bound compared to what we had earlier, which was more of Viro kind of sketchbooks. This, of course, was more experimental, and we went ahead with the Archer's 300 GSM paper. It was really thick, and hence binding it was very tough, as well as we faced some difficulties. Once we faced these difficulties, we did improvise on it from the other sketchbooks, which of course I'm going to show you in the next go. But before that, let's just uh, have a look at what are the paintings that I did. First of all, whenever you are painting on a sketchbook, one important aspect that you should keep in mind is you can paint anything. Secondly, you can use both sides of the paper. Thirdly, your paper lies absolutely flat. which makes it very easy to paint from one side to another so you can use it either as a a5 size paper or you can even use it as an a4 size paper however you want to go ahead and use it you can of course do it and then i did all my experiments where practically i painted anything and everything possible on the sketchbook of course there were a lot of failed experiments too i will not deny but all those failed experiments were kind of uh, Uh, I think there was a lot of learning that I had like this particular painting I did not like but yes when I went ahead with my other paintings like this it really helped me to sail through easily and there were learnings from various artists uh, like this particular one is done from another uh, lesson from artists so you can even document your learnings on a sketchbook rather than painting only on your own this two paintings are basically uh, two trial colors sets that i got from a brand and i wanted to try all their colors this is what i did for both paintings then i started experimenting a bit with the uh, urban sketching and urban sketching has been there for quite some time i have been working through it in many of my other paintings too so the best part about this sketchbook i would say is i can paint i can do i can um, use both sides i can choose my paper as well as the whole uh, sketchbook lies flat so overall i think it was a win win situation for me even whatever be the price of the sketchbook do not only go by that i would ask you to have a look at what is the kind of paper how is um, the sketchbook look and feel does it uh, flat open whenever you are working through it and hence uh, choose your sketchbook accordingly this was my first sketchbook and let's go towards my second sketchbook which i kept after having my first sketchbook i decided i do not want such thick papers as i feel that they, the binding becomes a bit loose with that and um, i was not very happy with how it turned out the next experiment was with a 185 gsm paper arches and it turned out amazing the good part about the sketchbook is that it has a very soft cover and you can have any kind of uh, cloth hand loom cloth on top of it i have done n number of sketches on this particular sketchbook from various artists learnings 
what not i i have failed attempts to through all these sketchbooks and it even gave rise to many classes which i gave on um, sketcher as well as uh, i gave a lot of classes on my own website www.vibrantparcels.com there are few more upcoming classes about spring so go ahead and check it out i had these many sketches oh my god i can continue showing all of it because each of these sketches were done over time and they all have changed the way i work so much this was more to be on the abstract side and then try to work it out with only a limited palette this is more on the vibrant uh, skies and that's it you can see so many paintings on one particular sketchbook i started this sketchbook somewhere around i will just tell you the date though i don't mention it much it was um, in uh, 2022 but yeah around uh, i think uh, june or july month i started it out and i ended it around uh, january february this month so it really uh, lasted me for a long period of time i used both the sides of the paper as well as it did lie completely flat so i can even use paintings like these rather than only working through paintings this particular way and this did not have any gaps too so yes that's the second sketchbook which i have post this i had lot many sketchbooks which i made for myself but they're not complete uh, this particular one i started experimenting with for my birds and then i moved on to some snowscapes then i moved on to some of my floral experiment did um, some urban sketching too as well as gave a few live sessions along with it i have failed attempt yeah i think uh, having failed attempt is so important in a sketchbook because that's the place where you want to go where you want to reach right if your sketchbooks don't give or don't show your failed attempts then you are practically not working or that's not your safe place and I really want that to be your safe place altogether. Okay, fine. Now let's go ahead and see. This is the painting which is coming up next on YouTube. Um, so you will see the sun coming up on Sunday. But along with it, I use this page for painting this full uh, landscape view and lavender fields that we did last week in our uh, sketchbook series so go ahead check it out the lavender fields that you want to paint let me show you a few more sketchbooks of course these are not complete they are still incomplete in the meantime you need to see uh, like see if you have papers like this what happens is that they can fly away anywhere and you will not be in a position to track back much of them in future by the way i need to even tell you that this of course is a class which is coming up on vibrant parcels it is a to z of florals you can go ahead check it out there will be 26 florals as well as there would be full compositions too this is african daisy buttercup this is wholly a floral sketchbook I did this full composition again for this particular class where you will be painting anemone, blue, bloom balloon, then camellia, daffodil. So we will paint this daffodil and then use white daffodils to paint this whole of the composition. Overall, it is going to be an amazing experience. And again, I have a lot of space left once we made the sketchbook we were we got a bit aware that uh even at 185 gsm i think it's important to stick to only uh, i would say uh, 20 sheets max uh we should not go beyond 20 sheets what happens is beyond that um, even making your sketchbook flat becomes more difficult so 10 uh I think 10 to 20 sheets is the ideal case what you should have for any of your sketchbooks 
along with it uh, i did a lot of experimentation for my travel journal so this is practically journey and this is my travel sketchbook that i have been keeping for a while uh, this is another class which came out on skillshare so you can go ahead and check out my skillshare class if you want to learn about all this there are a lot of paintings and each one of them you can see i have painted like this i have not gone ahead and did stick to one single paper as well as you can uh, see a lot of paintings over here i am always very excited about using sketchbooks and this is one of my favorite ways to use a sketchbook where you use the top part you use the bottom part and then you have somewhere written a bit of uh, things about what you felt what is it all about the painting etc and finally uh, give a painting up okay this has not been completed and i think this will not be completed because i'm not happy with how it turned out so maybe i will give it a pass and you will not see oh, something as beautiful as this so it is going to be a failed attempt again having said all of it i must tell you that overall i would always always prefer to keeping only sketchbooks because these sketchbooks are very handy you can carry anywhere you want you can paint outside of your particular studio room then it is very easy to document your journey where you started from and where you are now thirdly i would say that sketchbooks really help you to improve a lot if you are having a sketchbook you know that your safe place you can go back to it you can refer back any painting that you have done maybe you are not uh, you don't have the memory of where exactly you have kept that particular page that is flying around and uh, when you see a sketchbook you exactly know this is how i painted this is what i painted and get back to it so uh, i think uh, this is it from today's video and we will meet very soon in the next video where i am going to tell you everything about vibrant sky as well as we are going to play two pretty vibrant sky paintings so can't wait to see you this sunday bye